friends here we are talking about debugging a bash shell script see debugging is the process of finding and fixing errors or bugs in the script so why we get errors or bugs in our scripts see it is because of sometimes you may be missing the exact syntax rules or you may be using any variable which is not defined in your shell script so to identify all these things we have different types of options with our bash shell scripts they are so here these options you can define inside shell script itself and these options you can use from command line or in your shebang line itself you can include these options let me show you them with a simple example see this is my simple shell script suppose if i directly run this shell script observe the output you are getting some errors so once you develop your shell script before running first just validate at least for your syntax errors so for that we have two options here set hyphen n or bash hyphen n so this we have to use inside shell script and this we can also use from command line so suppose from command line i want to validate are there any syntax errors in my shell script then you can run bash hyphen n then your shell script name so it is giving some information in these two lines actually you have errors but they are not exact line numbers because we don't have powerful debugging mechanism with your bash shell scripts but around the line numbers you may have these errors suppose if we go with line number 5 actually it is looking for matching double quotation so just check line number 5 in line number 5 we are starting with double quotation and ending with double quotation so it is perfect here there is no error actually so just observe before that line 4 line number 4 here pwd is a command no need of any double quotations then before that line number 3 here we started with double quotation but we forgot to close with double quotation so in this way only you have to identify then let me rerun once again now we are getting different error at line number 8 syntax error near unexpected token f5 so this is ending if condition so this is a starting between this somewhere you have missed something so actually in my case for if i forgot to write this then key in this syntax that's it now let me save it and then rerun no errors that's it now you can run your shell script now let me run that's it and here if you observe we are using one variable user so actually user is a default variable here so you don't have any problem with that but if you see here my value it is our custom variable so nowhere we are defining that variable but you are trying to display that so it is somewhat undefined variable so to identify this kind of variables we have bash hyphen u option for your shell scripts see that line number 5 my value unbound variable that means you did not define that variable so without defining you are using it then next you have set hyphen v or bash hyphen v option so it is for verbose mode let me show you that suppose i am running bash hyphen v then your shell script now observe the output so actually here it is displaying each and every line before actually it is executing see the very first line what we have bin bash we are getting that as it is anyway if you execute bash on your command line there is no output that's why for this line you are not getting any output but second line this line you are getting as it is first in your output but after that immediately you are seeing what is the actual output for this line this is the output for this line then third line this exactly you are getting here then immediately after that actual output you are seeing then pwd you are getting that immediately after that what is the pwd output you are getting likewise you will see your input lines and also its exact output on your command line so for that you can use bash hyphen v or both more so now how we can use this option to find if any errors in your script basically i don't suggest to use this option but let me try see suppose i am removing somewhere double quotation and then rerun 
see after displaying each and every step and its output then you are seeing error that's why i don't suggest to use this option to find any errors but instead of that if you want to see what is actually your input and what is the output you are getting both if you want to see at a time on your output then use this option that's it then next one is set hyphen x or bash hyphen x so it display each step after substitution let me execute it and then i will explain that bash hyphen x then your shell script see if you execute this bash line you won't get any output that's why for that you are not getting any output now come to this line so here user is a variable so first it will substitute the variable value here and then it will display this line first see that then from this line you are getting your output then see the next line so actually in this you are using a command that's why first it will display what the command you are using in the next line and then it will substitute that command value here and it will display this entire line see that then from this what is the output then if you come to fourth line what is the command you are using pwd that's what it is displaying then for that what is the output that's it then here my value nowhere that is defined that's why the value is empty so it is substituting that value and then it will display this line then from this what is the output empty we are displaying that's it so in this way your bash hyphen x option works so now how we can use this hyphen x option to find if any errors in your script so let me remove somewhere double quotations now rerun see the output see you are getting output till this line pwd after that you are getting error that means till this part you are okay with syntax so till this line so after that you are having some error then check it so for echo yeah we miss a double quotation in this way you can uh, find your errors and you can rectify them now just save it and then rerun that's it so whatever the options you are using on command line same options if you want to use inside your shell script yes we can use it so for that one way is in your shebang line itself you can mention your option let's say bash iphone u i am using to know undefined variables see that or else instead of mentioning your option here you can write set iphone u that's it so once you know about this error after rectifying that just to remove this and then run your shell script so basically i don't suggest to use uh, this debugging options inside your shell script it's a good practice to pass from command line just to validate your syntax errors or any undefined variables like this bash then your option then your shell script so that you no need to disturb your shell script with options that's it Okay thank you